Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing Mech Warrior Mercenaries. So this game, um, I started playing it a long time ago. Like uh, Mech, sorry, Mech Warrior Online was the original game, but now we have Mech Warrior Five, um, Mech Warrior Five Online, and I um, started playing it. Uh, some time ago and now we have um, mech warrior 5 mercenary so this is um, you can play uh, this uh, mech warrior uh, 5 as a single player so you have campaigns and you also have career mode currently we are um, in career mode and uh, well it's a you will see it's a your uh, it's it's based on this BattleTech universe. So the BattleTech series is based on uh, some uh, books. And uh, yeah, th there are there are many games or several games based on the on the BattleTech universe. And uh, here we have one that uh, simulates the the mechs, right? So the mechs, uh, I can uh, start by showing the battle mechs. <coughs> so here you have them uh, and you can customize the loadout of every mech and you pilot them and in this single player mode you can also have um, NPCs uh, piloting the, the mechs the online version is of course uh, PvP, a lot of PvP and uh, yeah, it, it's um, similar to other um, games. Um, yeah, you have several modes like Skirmish and Conquest um, and different scenarios and you um, then the, the, in the game will uh, make matches like you, uh, you will um, request to to join a game and then uh, the game will make some um, will set up a match between several players in each side and they will fight for a certain objective to 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 accomplish some goals so here um, yeah we can now uh, strip for example strip the, the the mech and then you can uh, customize it completely you can revert uh, you can where is it so there there are two modes right like the weapons and details the view modes and here you have all these slots by the by the way this this system is the same as uh, the BattleTech game I uh, showcased in this channel uh, some time ago. So here you can just um, select your your weapon uh, configuration. You can uh, it's not only about weapons but also the ammo, the, the the armor, the engine. There are many things that you can customize your uh, mech with. Also, you select how much armor you want to carry in each in each uh, section. So currently, we have um, these four mechs. I started the, the, this um, career mode with four mechs. I have two wasps. Um, yeah, one panther and uh, one locust. I really like this uh, bipedal. Um, like chicken like <laughs> I call them chickens like um, the way they look <laughs> I don't know I, it, it reminds me a lot of uh, Robotech I was a really big fan of Robotech and I love these um, chicken like uh, robots I think that they were mostly uh, piloted by the Centraedis I think um, I'm not uh, so much of a fan of these anthropomorphic ones. I mean, but um, yeah, they they're also uh, cool. 
So let's see. So now we are orbiting a system. We have um, we have a mission here. So rich merc rep level four. Okay. So we accept it. So here we have the star map. And we're currently in this system. Uh, so we should go and pick up a mission in somewhere. Industrial hub. Uh, this, there are pilots available for hire in this system. And in this one, uh, I think we can hire uh, pilots, right? So, uh, I think we should have some, right? Yeah, but this is very similar to the Battletech game. So, even though um, I've been uh, playing very um, for a very short time this game, I'm I feel already familiar with the game because it's like the same mechanic, like the overall mechanic is the same. The difference is that, of course, it's not turn-based. So you are um, inside a mecha, like uh, you, you are piloting the mecha. It's a mecha simulator, um, you could say. And uh, the battle is uh, developing in real time. Yeah, we are familiar with this. Yeah, so that's why yeah, I feel uh, comfortable. So, um, ah, in fact, we are four. We don't need to hire anyone just yet. So, from the other game, uh, I remember that pilots will specialize and then they will become like, um, yeah, one is a pilot, then another is specialized on. Um, uh, like support or yeah or scout or things like that okay so let's see and everyone has skill nice okay and then you can you can hire more but since we have four mechas I think for now we are not hiring anyone also in the mech market you can buy stuff well, here they have uh, mechs for uh, to buy, it seems. And equipment. But let's see, what, what can we do here? Recommended reputation level 3 to 5. Uh, okay, what's my reputation level currently? Select destination and then travel. That sounds good. Ah, okay, here. Multiple missions, mission operation. This is the one we're looking for. Ah, there's an assassination contract here. Seven to nine, two to three. War zone contract. Okay, let's go here. There's a war zone contract available. And there's a um, demolition contract here. But this is good because it's uh, for level 2 to 3. Yeah. Let's travel. So, at the, as the time goes on, 
uh, you will reach a point where it's like a payday, right? So you have to pay your bills, you have to um, give your the, the salaries to your um, pilots. So it's uh, this game is also about uh, management, how you manage your resources. Okay, so let's go to the contract section and see what... Uh, if even the contracts are are the same or, or are very similar you you have a contract and then you can uh, negotiate with a with, with a contractor right so information has leaked out to our enemies about a crucial supply convoy the survival is of it is absolutely critical to our wartime efforts the convoy is carrying weapons, equipment, and raw supplies that is meant for our fighters on the front line. We've detected an in incoming enemy force that we'd like you to head off and delay for as long as you can. Okay, so the the employer is the uh, House Steiner. Uh, one negotiation uh, minus one suspicious. I, I'm not sure. Ah, okay. We we get a penalty because of our reputation, I think. <laughs> so that means that we cannot negotiate anything. So usually, and this is uh, what I was saying. Like this is the um, the same mechanic as BattleTech. You negotiate your contract so you can you can increase uh, what what the uh, payment will be and you will also be able to for example negotiate uh, to to take more salvage from the loot right also damage coverage and mis mission airstrike support okay so um, yeah let's uh, accept this one and then we are all in the mission basically i will be piloting a wasp Usually I was piloting the, the the panther. He placed me in a wasp. So let's select um, I I think they're all the same, right? Well this has a little bit more of um, I don't know what's this. Two fifth, two thirds. And this is uh, okay, and the missiles are different. Okay, um, yeah, I, th I think she could be there. Well, all of them has missiles. Okay. Let's place them. No, wait. Uh, should I put this one here? Let's do it the other way around. Who's more skilled? Like this one here, right? And this one here. I'm not sure if I'm um, doing the right thing, but. Yeah, that's that's how it is okay let's go ready now we will be dropped in on the spot Allied forces are attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining friendlies screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible. We have an opportunity for a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back. Oh great, one of them just um, almost destroyed my...
<laughs> yeah, press. Um, ah, here it is. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Okay, another mecha here. Target fire started. I don't have miss. Where's my missiles? I'm not sure if I have missiles. A fire starter. Okay, one difference uh, with this um, system is that I mean, a difference with uh, with a uh, Mech Warrior Online is that this this one has a throttle. Great, this only have one weapon. This only has like this l puny laser. <laughs> I should have, uh, I don't know, equip my mechas better. Damage with this guy. Where is it? Ah. Yes. Oh no, look at that. You saw that. I just crashed with one of my teammates. Well, I find this cool. Like you can, you can, uh, you have this friendly damage and friendly um, fire as well. I had some machine gun going on. Oh, great. Okay, now. Well, I have received more damage from <laughs> from my team than from the enemy. I can tell you that. You see that it, it has a throttle? So in in I find it uh, like more intuitive uh, Mech Warrior uh, online. They have detected your presence, Commander. I'm seeing multiple Tangors on scope converging on your current position. Okay, yes, they're coming. Where are they? There they come. What is it? A tank? Okay, and what's the other one? The thing is that I... I, I don't have missiles. Who's here? There's someone here. An enemy. Where is it? Ah, th that way. Okay. But I think the other is taking care of him. Target down. Ah, it was a. Uh, Show increased enemy presence in the vicinity. Be on the lookout for further hostiles. Uh huh. Target acquired. One mecha and what is it? New target. 
I think I should support the team here. Target acquired. Do that one. I know hate this this mecha, it's so puny. It has a machine gun. You see the machine gun, right? Like, but really puny. Okay, and this guy. Don't crush me! Don't crush! Don't crush! Don't crush! Okay, one good thing is the music, though. Oh, you saw that, right? Then friendly fire. But the NPC is a little bit reckless, right? Ah. They're a little bit reckless. Okay, it's the least I can do for the team. It's such a puny. Ah, here he comes. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, Commander. We have to kill this guy before. I don't want any friendly fire. Though. Okay, at least we destroyed the, this wave. There's another wave coming. So these these um, <coughs> these campaigns and uh, careers, you can play them multiplayer. That's a very cool thing. So instead of having all these NPCs, it could be like with your friends or something. Another wave. Enemy destroyed. This is wave after wave. Ooh.
if you if you destroy you see the the the, the figure in the upper right corner that's the damage uh, mecha like the target the enemy the one in the lower part is the is my mecha so it would be good if we could just destroy his leg there we go destroy his legs leg is almost gone One, once his leg is gone he won't be able to stand on anything there we go wow he has so much armor in that leg come on it's more the time I uh, spend crashing into the buildings than Where is he now? There he is. Take that. You have no legs no more. How is he standing? He has no legs. Is he standing on a leg? Okay, let's go. Ah, but there are... There, is there some loot? I don't think. Sometimes you can get loot. And that thing there is um, a target. Damn it, my, my arm is gone. <laughs> my um, right arm is gone, it seems. Mission complete, Commander. Let's go home. Okay, we're done here. What is that? I, <laughs> I lost one of my arms. Okay, more reputation. Now I'm uh, suspicious plus uh, 11. Opponent independent. Minus 8. Okay. So everybody got some skill. Total damages. 2000 okay nice okay from here on um, uh, we are in a conflict zone so repairs take uh, more time Heroes of the Indians first. Ah, okay, there's a mission here. Okay, that's that's nice. Uh, but now here, everybody... Look, that's my mecha right there. Look at that. I lost my arm. So destroy weapons and equipment. Light hand actuator, shoulder actuator, yes. Ammo containers, not full. Engine is damaged. Oh, okay. But probably we should repair them at some... Um, outside of the conflict zone, right? Or what should we do? Well, let's repair them right away. Repair. This mecha me integrated combat uh, performing a regular repair will cost by 75% but increase time required yeah let's repair everyone confirm
And then we have to see what um, what equipment they have. Um, they have lost. I I I guess mine was the most damage, right? Okay, two days, three days, thirty-two days. So let's go here. Should we go back? Let's go here. Or not? Should we? They they are awards on contracts and yeah, I guess we can go there. Certain days, and by that time they will be repaired, I guess. Defense contract, demolition contract. The thing is, um, if uh, or battle max, for example, the one that lost. Um, I have to wait, anyways. Okay. Okay, but that's that's it for now, guys. Um, you get the idea of um, how this game um, rolls, and yeah, you can. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you before um, ending the episode is uh, that we we can uh, walk inside our ship, and this is where the mechs are maintained, as you see. So yeah, this this is this was the other wasp, right? So look at this. He didn't receive so much a beating, right? <laughs> Mine was oh no, I cannot do that. What? Okay. Uh, mine was uh, the one who received more damage. Look at that. Ah, I think I. I oh, know the the machine gun is on my shoulder, not on my other arm. Yeah, I was the one that got the that got it. <laughs> got most damage, I think. Well, this one also received a beating. As you can see. So um, this game has uh, a lot of story, but I think this career mode um, is more. Um, it's more open world, I think. Now we're going to the bridge. So this is the bridge. This is the star map. This is the marketplace here and yeah, I can access the the mechs here and this is the the captain's um quarter. Or at least something I can have access to. Yeah, but basically that's it. Ah, here are the barracks. Okay, in the barracks I can see my yeah my personal and stuff. Yeah, but as if you remember, the, uh, uh, the BattleTech game is is uh, very much uh, the same mechanic. I well, the management and stuff. But um, yeah, the difference is this um, first-person uh, sh shooter part. Yeah, and it's uh, quite fun. So I have the uh, description down below if you're interested in the game. And hope you like the video and hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.